Welcome to Unit Circle Survival Guide. In this video, we'll find the exact value of the cosecant of 19 pi over 6 using the Sark method. So here's our outline. S-A-R-C helps us remember the order of the steps so we get an accurate answer. And S stands for sketching the angle, A for ASTC so we can decide if our answer should be positive or negative, R for the reference angle special right triangle and coordinates that pair with it, and C for calculating the trig ratio. So let's do this for the cosecant of 19 pi over 6. We first start by sketching our angle, and notice that our angle is positive, so we're rotating in the counterclockwise direction. And also notice that it's more than one rotation, because 2 pi is a full rotation. Um, you can rewrite that as 12 pi over 6, and notice that, of course, 19 pi over 6 is greater than that. So our angle is more than one rotation. And to sketch the terminal side of our angle, it'll be helpful to find a co-terminal angle to 19 pi over 6, just because that's a little bit easier to sketch. So let's do that. We have 19 pi over 6, and we want to just subtract one of those rotations. So 2 pi is a full rotation, or we'll write that as 12 pi over 6. And we're just going to subtract here. So we find that 7 pi over 6 is coterminal to 19 pi over 6. That just means they share the same terminal side. So let's go ahead and sketch that. We have 0 here. Pi is a half rotation. And if it helps you, write that as 6 pi over 6. So you can see that 7 pi over 6 is just going to be 1 pi over 6 more than 6 pi over 6. So our angle's terminal side will be in the third quadrant. And remember, this is the same terminal side, both for 7 pi over 6 and 19 pi over 6. It's just one additional counterclockwise rotation for the angle for 19 pi over 6. OK, now let's decide if our final answer should be positive or negative. And to do this, we use ASTC. That's the A in SARC. And that is an acronym that tells us which trig functions are positive in each quadrant, working around from quadrant 1. So they're all positive in quadrant one. Sine and its reciprocal cosecant are the only ones positive in two. Tangent and cotangent in three. And cosine and secant are the ones positive in quadrant four. So we care about quadrant three, where tangent and cotangent are the only ones going to be positive. And since we're trying to find the cosecant of 19 pi over six, we know that our final answer should be negative. So let's go ahead and make note of that. And doing this now allows us to use a special right triangle in the first quadrant. And so when we make our calculations, we can just use positive values and we eliminate any possibility of error um, or accidentally leaving off a negative sign. We've just done it up front and now we don't have to worry about it anymore. So now we can find our reference triangle. And to do this, we first need to look at our reference angle, which is just the amount of rotation from our terminal side to the x-axis. And so we see that 6 pi over 6 is how we said a half rotation, and then just 1 pi over 6 more than that would get us to our terminal side, 7 pi over 6. So our reference angle is pi over 6, or 30 degrees. So we're working with a 30, 60, 90 special right triangle. And knowing our properties of those, we know that the coordinates that pair with that are square root of 3 over 2 for the x, because that horizontal leg is longer and one half for the shorter vertical leg. And now we can finally calculate. So we use those coordinates from the previous step, and we know that we want to find the cosecant. So let's recall that ratio. The cosecant of an angle on the unit circle is just one over the y coordinate, because it's the reciprocal of sine. So if we say one divided by one half, that simplifies to two. And of course, we take our sine from step two, so the cosecant of 19 pi over six is going to be negative one half. If you need help with any of the basic skills type steps, um, I'll post a link for a playlist that has a lot of videos on each of those individual skills. Um, and I'll also put links for more worked examples. So thanks for watching and good luck with your exact values.